Yi Ting does all he can to get back together with Xin Yu, but she keeps rejecting him. The reason Xin Yu was rejecting Yi Ting was because she thought Yi Ting's mother hates her. But when she found out that Yi Ting's mother doesn't hate her everything changed. Meantime Zhou Yu talks about the man she likes and Zong Wen misunderstands that Zhou Yu likes him. Ep 19.1 Episode 19, Yi Ting, Xin Yu. Zhou Yu and Zhang Wen are drawing. Zhang Wen is drawing a chemical structure and talks to Zhou Yu. Xin Yu is concentrated on her drawing, while Yi Ting does what he can to get Xin Yu's attention. He takes out of his jacket a note on which it was written that the moon orbits around the sun. He shows the note to Xin Yu and tells her that he is her son for the day and she has to make him her center. Yi Ting, you must make me your center. Xin Yu takes the challenge. She gets up and starts running around Yi Ting. But Yi Ting can't stay put, he gets up and starts moving around, forcing Xin Yu to follow him and bump into him. When Xin Yu got tired, Yi Ting got another note on which it was written make boss smile. Xin Yu, let's see how dizzy I'll make you. Realizing what Yi Ting was doing, Zhou Yu offered to help him get Xin Yu's attention. But Yi Ting refused the offer. He doesn't want to ruin Zhou Yu and Xin Yu's friendship again. Xin Yu tries to draw on Yi Ting's face, but he stops her. While he was stopping Xin Yu from drawing on his face, Xin Yu drew her own face by mistake. Because Yi Ting was laughing of her, Xin Yu got the chance to draw on his face too. From here on the two lovers let down their guard and started playing around dot both drawing each other's faces. Later, that night Zhou Yu and Zhang Wen leave together. They stop by a park for Zhou Yu to drink something. She talks about her hard life and about the person she likes. She was talking about Yi Ting, but Zhang Wen misunderstands that she was talking about him. Xin Yu dreams about her and Yi Ting walking on the street. He takes out a note and tells her that for the rest of the day she will have to look only at him and smile dot or she will never see him again. Suddenly Yi Ting is hit by a car and Xin Yu wakes up scared. Yi Ting, today, your eyes belong only to me. Ki An Ni is home alone when the police came by. Chairman Tang is investigated not only for business, but also for murder. The police believe that Chairman Tang might have killed Uncle King and they ask Ki An Ni about her father's relationship with Uncle King. But Ki An Ni, even when she knows that her father killed Uncle King, lies to the policeman. She is worried about her father and can't stop thinking that she had to help him somehow. Meantime Chairman Tang follows Xin Yu. He blames her for being caught and losing everything. But the moment Chairman Tang was running to Xin Yu, Yi Ting appeared. He came to take Xin Yu to the farm. Yun An hasn't returned to the farm, but she sent a former classmate to help Zhou Mao with the animals. Yi Ting, Zhou Mao and Xin Yu look at the new veterinary taking care of the call, but she isn't Yun An. Yi Ting makes fun of Zhou Mao saying that he likes the new sexy veterinary better than the stiff Yun An. Since Zhou Mao doesn't like the new veterinary he calls Yun An, but Yun An hang up on him. Later, at the farm. Xin Yu hides under the table when she hears Yi Ting's mother's voice. But Yi Ting's mother doesn't hate Xin Yu and wants Xin Yu and Yi Ting to be happy together. From his mother, Yi Ting discovered that the reason Xin Yu didn't accept his feelings anymore was because she was afraid it will upset Yi Ting's mother. During dinner both Zhou Mao and his mother were signing Yi Ting to propose to Xin Yu and he was about to in front of them. But they stopped Yi Ting. He must let Xin Yu feel his sincerity first. Yi Ting came to take Xin Yu out again. They go together to the parking lot, but before Yi Ting could enter the car Chairman Tang hit him. When Yi Ting fell on the ground, Chairman Tang entered the car and drove away with Xin Yu. But Xin Yu managed to get out. She and Yi Ting tried to run away. But Chairman Tang reversed the car and hit Yi Ting. He got out of the car and started hitting with his legs the unconscious Yi Ting. Then he dragged Yi Ting to the car and gave Xin Yu a bag. She has three hours to get Chairman Tang the money he asked for or she will never see Yi Ting alive again. Chairman Tang dragged the unconscious Yi Ting to an abandoned place and tied him up. He continues to hit Yi Ting even if Yi Ting is tied up and unconscious. Then he calls Ki An Ni to get him some money too. When Ki An Ni came to her father, the place was already surrounded by police. Xin Yu had the brilliant idea to call Shi Huan after Chairman Tang took Yi Ting. Ki An Ni did what her father instructed her to do, but then Chairman Tang didn't answer her call anymore. While Chairman Tang wasn't paying attention, Yi Ting came to his senses and untied himself. Yi Ting fights Chairman Tang, 
but he is too hurt to oppose any resistance. Meantime Ki Ni sees the policeman and runs inside to find her father. She blood and follows the trace. On the rooftop, Ki Ni sees her father trying to push Yi Ting over. Few seconds after Ki Ni the police came. Chairman Tang pushed Yi Ting to the police and jumped. With a hurt leg, Chairman Tang runs away. But he couldn't go far away and the police arrested him. Chairman Tang managed to take the gun from a policeman and threatens that police officer. Then he takes the bag with money from Ki Ni. But while he was trying to run away, Chairman Tang was hit by a car. Who appeared out of nowhere. He died in Ki On Ni's arms. Chairman Tang, Zhou Yi Ting, I told you before, money is power. It's been a while since Zhang Wen saw Zhou Yu, so he comes by. He tells Zin Yu that Zhou Yu like him. But while he was telling Zin Yu what Zhou Yu said, Zin Yu realized that the one Zhou Yu likes is Yi Ting. When the two girls talk, Zhang Wen finally realized that he misunderstood that Zhou Yu doesn't like him. And he quit his job in the States to stay in Taiwan with Zhou Yu. Zin Yu is working, but Yi Ting lies down next to her, disturbing her. He does nothing but asking for Zin Yu to give him water and feed him. Yun and send another veterinary to the farm. This time a man who said that he is Nan Nan's best friend. Zhou Mao didn't like that he heard and called Yun in to send another vet to the farm. After that man left, Yi Ting, Zin Yu and Xu Fan convince Zhou Mao to bring back Yunnan. But Zhou Mao doesn't know how to do that and asks for their help. Yi Ting, Zhou Mao and Zin Yu went to meet Yunnan, who appeared in front of them as a beautiful woman. Zhou Mao made a joke that hurt Yunnan and she left. Zhou Mao runs after her and talks to her from his heart. He apologized for not considering her feelings the day she confessed that she likes him. Zhou Mao asked Yunnan to return to the farm and even carried her there on his back. Zhou Mao, I miss you a lot. Zhang Wen is another man who is in love. He likes Zhou Yu and follows her around, giving her presents. In front of his family and friends, Yi Ting kneeled before Zinu and proposed to her. Yi Ting, always stay by my side.